Here's why Sony never made an Amazing Spider-Man 3 starring Andrew Garfield. For months going into the release of Spider-Man, No Way Home, reports suggested that Garfield would return as his version of Peter Parker, thanks to multiversal shenanigans. Garfield himself denied these claims, but it was all a smokescreen, as he did indeed appear in the film alongside Tom Holland's MCU Spider-Man, defeating a team of United supervillains. While both The Amazing Spider-Man and The Amazing Spider-Man 2 drew mixed reactions, Garfield's return to the role was received warmly, with lots of loud cheers erupting in theaters. To be fair to Garfield, Woe's more than proven himself as an actor in films like The Social Network and Tick, Tick. Boom, his performances were never really the problem with The Amazing Spider-Man movies. Garfield's Peter Parker made valiant efforts to raise both films to a high level, but was let down by questionable writing choices and characterization decisions, especially in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. That's also true of Jamie Foxx, who proved in No Way Home that he could play a much better version of Electro as well. Dot while The Amazing Spider-Man 2 proved especially divisive among audiences, and was trashed by critics, many have come to believe that this response is what caused Sony not to make The Amazing Spider-Man 3 with Garfield. That's actually not true, as the film still performed pretty well at the international box office, even after Amazing Spider-Man 2 failed to meet expectations. Thanks to the infamous 2014 Sony hacking incident, the world knows exactly why Garfield was fired and The Amazing Spider-Man 3 cancelled. Garfield failed to show up at a planned press event in Brazil announcing the sequel and that offended top Sony brass enough to sever ties. Dot Garfield was set to appear at a big Sony gala event in Rio de Janeiro to celebrate the end of the World Cup in summer 2014. Garfield was planned to speak alongside then-Sony CEO Kaz Harai at the event, in which the two men would announce The Amazing Spider-Man 3 for a 2016 release. Unfortunately, Garfield arrived to Brazil late, wasn't feeling great according to his reps, and decided to back out of the event mere hours before the big announcement. This caused Hirai's presentation to be drastically altered and the Spider-Man announcement part to be cancelled. Needless to say, many executives within Sony were quite upset with Garfield's last-minute no-show, including Hirai himself, who felt personally slighted. As much as most might be inclined to sympathize with Garfield not wanting to appear in front of a large crowd, while not feeling well, in a more realistic sense, leaving one's boss hanging out to dry at the last minute is never something likely to result in a positive outcome for an employee movie star or not. With the decision made to cancel The Amazing Spider-Man 3 and fire Garfield from the Spider-Man role, Sony went to the negotiating table with Marvel for a possible introduction of Spider-Man into the MCU. This had been tried before, but wasn't successful. The talks resulted in an agreement this time, leading to Tom Holland's Spider-Man debuting in Captain America, Civil War, ironically right around the originally planned 2016 release date of The Amazing Spider-Man 3.